Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm Evil Rabbit. So something a little different today because you guys know recently I've been struggling with some flexing in my chassis from the direct drive wheelbase. Definitely gonna take care of the rat nest of wiring. But it's an exciting day here on the channel because down here we have some new next level sim equipment down here that we're going to be getting set up today big thank you to next level for sending this stuff out and sponsoring and being a partner of mine so a big shout out to next level so i think it's time to do a little bit of a time lapse montage i think <laughs> High five. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now that we got everything off, it's all about the next level stuff. We do have the GT Elite Direct Mount Monitor Mount in the uh, black edition. So we're gonna get that out of the way for right now because that's not what we're worried about. It's this GT Elite wheel plate box. Can't wait to get this out and assembled because you guys know I was struggling with some flexing issues with my old chassis. So this should alleviate that. Try and not cut anything that I don't wanna cut. And of first off the rip, of course, we have our instructions manual, which we're definitely going to need because this is going to take some time to install and put together. Of course, we have some next level stickers. Always great to have next level stickers. So we're going to take a look at what everything we got initially in this box. Very well packed. And that is what I like to see all of this beautiful next level hardware and chassis what we got in here oh hey get a little next level lanyard we have a uh, key lanyard and everything in the box as well and of course we have every single piece that we're going to need to put this thing together definitely can't wait to get this fully together with the nice channeled pieces and all this nice aluminum, it's gonna look super sick. So, I feel like we need to possibly get this top box off. Ooh, that's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. We can see what's underneath. And we do have more bits underneath. Bracketries. All kinds of mounts and everything and uh, some seat brackets with a nice 
LNR on there. So we're definitely gonna make sure hopefully those work perfectly how we need them to. So I think it's a time that we find the hardware and here is all the hardware bits and all the fun stuff. So I think it's time for another uh, little time lapse and see if we can't get this thing together. So with the initial chassis all set up with everything, it looks amazing. I do love all the fine out details and all the adjustments and everything like that. My Mazda base is gonna be able to bolt with all four right on there. So we're gonna get into getting this monitor mount mounted on there and then we are going to get everything else mounted on the chassis. So big times, big fun, let's do it. All right, so we did go ahead and get the monitor mount installed. As you can see, we do have my MSI monitor on there. We do have my HyperX mic put on top. So one thing I would re definitely recommend if you guys are doing this monitor mount setup, do it before you put this plate on because you do got to take this plate off in order to put the monitor mount down there. So definitely super awesome, very sturdy, fully adjustable. We did get my NRG seat mounted up very easily with the universal brackets. Got those bolted on and put on. And it was very simple, very easy, got it mounted up. Got to do some fine new adjustments on how I want to do all my positioning and stuff once I get all of my stuff mounted in. So now it's time to get all the parameters and everything mounted up onto the rig and so that we can get the PC and everything turned on and get everything all set up and uh, start adjusting it 
I did use my old monitor mount or my old uh, keyboard mount as you can see from my other chassis with the you know channels and everything you can put that there and it works perfectly so that's on there for right now so we're gonna get all the parameters and everything put on this thing and uh, try and get this rig going so with everything finally set up and all my Mazda equipment and my shifters and everything hooked up onto the base, this thing is so nice and so solid. The GT Elite base from Next Level, definitely super aggressive and very stable. So big thank you to Next Level for hooking me up and sending this out and partnering with me here on the channel. So did get a chance to of course to mount my mic behind my monitor super stable monitor mount and everything back there super aggressive and great with all the adjustability and everything one thing that i will have to get used to a little bit is the way i had to position my shifter now with that plug down there it's a little bit angled back but you know after running a little bit of testing with it getting everything set how i want to it feels awesome so we're gonna go into game and actually get some rips in it and see how stable this base is so we're gonna switch over to the game cam and get everything all situated so we're on the game cam and actually you can see we have a different camera view it's a little bit up higher for this video we're gonna fine tune where i want to put the camera and stuff but overall this chassis i'm trying to move it around there's no movement as you can see at all in my wheelbase nothing is shaking pulling the handbrake there's no shaking in my shifter or anything like that oh i just popped my wheel in the gear oh cool so this is a super solid chassis and super very you know tough rigid and i can't express how much this is not flexing compared to my other chassis so like i said the parameter with the handbrake being a little bit a little bit back is not actually as big of a deal as i thought it was going to be um i can adjust it move forward just the way i have to angle it for the plug on the bottom is this way so we're gonna go for a first rip here so we're gonna go full send here at the hot pit track for first initial testing of the chassis and the positioning so the wheel position feels great it's a lot closer than it was on my other base which is actually correct how it should be and a tighter in is better for racing and things like that so it's just the ergonomics and the, the placement that i'm gonna have to get used to a little bit but overall, it feels way more comfortable. I'm sitting more vertical, how it should be. So the seat feels quite comfortable on the base rails. Didn't have to worry about height or anything like that. It's all there. The pedals are right where they want, where I want them to be, where I can get full feel. So the handbrake, um, it's just like I said, it's a little bit different placement. It's not here anymore. It's back a little bit, but it's closer to the wheel now. So it's very easy to get to. The shifter is in a very decent position where it would be if it was a tall shifter say in a real car with sequential so we're gonna go full send here and see what we can do drive us in third person so you guys can see the whole car little wall tap little wall tap there come off the bank quick flick transition no handbrake needed there and overall, a very solid run and a very quite interesting run. And the initial feel of the positioning of this base is actually extremely nice. And it's just more ergonomical and how it should be. So it's a little more correct of a seating position. And I'm not noticing any flex whatsoever. That's why I have this camera so set up high. So you guys can see, like, my shifter doesn't shake when I pull this. Nothing. I'm trying to move the base, but it will not, as you can see, it's not shaking around. Like, nothing is really moving. It's super solid, which is making the wheel feel much nicer when I'm trucking the wheel back and forth. It's not, like, flexing around and things like that. So, minute little things that you wouldn't think you'd have to get used to are things that make a huge difference in how the wheel feels and reacts. No wall taps there. Off the bank and through there. Clutch in, transition the car, throw myself out there, oh, a little bit up on the bank there, ah, it kind of threw me offline, but overall, quite happy with how this chassis is feeling, going to be getting a little more into full ergonomic settings and things like that in another video, but for first run out, definitely super happy with how this thing feels, can't thank Next Level enough for coming here and supporting me on the channel with this chassis, definitely something I was wanting after having so much flex switching to the Mazda base opposite neutral so with this Mazda base being able to mount directly down and angle this plate how I wanted it to it's 
super nice to be able to put everything where you want it. Like I said, this feels much more comfortable as a seating position and much more how it would be with real cars because my old S14 was kind of the same seating style position that I had. So big thank you to Next Level as always. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media knowledge file in the description box below. This E46, got Next Level on side, Boston of course, Mazda, Big Zuck Club, Auto, uh, Hot Pit Auto Fest, and 3D Wrap, Torque Drift, and Coldest Water. This is my ESDA Pro Car. You guys are going to be seeing more of this when I do a full build breakdown on this thing. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll in the description box below. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>